So React is all about components. And I hope I could make it clear why it's all about components and what exactly a component is. So therefore the next question is, how exactly is a component built? Now we'll dive into the concrete code in just a second. In general, it's just important to keep in mind what I mentioned earlier. In the end, user interfaces are about HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And therefore all these components are about combining HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. When we work with React and we build components, we in the end do just that. We combine HTML, CSS, and JavaScript in all these components, and then we combine all these components together to build the entire user interface. Though I will say, while CSS of course matters, and we're going to add CSS in this course, it's the least important part here. Mostly React components are about combining HTML and JavaScript. And then of course you also can add CSS, but that's not the focus of React. Nonetheless, I will teach you of course, how you can make sure that your components look beautiful. So long story short, React is all about components and about building these components, which we combine together. React allows you to create these reusable and reactive components, and you are going to see what reactive means in detail later. React allows you to build these reusable and reactive components consisting of HTML and JavaScript, and as I mentioned, all the bit of CSS. Now here's the important part though. As you will learn throughout this course, React uses something which is called a declarative approach for building these components. And uh, you will see what exactly that is, but it basically means that with React, you will not tell React that a certain HTML element should be created and inserted in a specific place on the user interface, as you would be doing it with vanilla JavaScript. So with just JavaScript, for example. Instead with React, and that's really important, you will always define the desired end state, the target state, or possibly also different target states, depending on different conditions. And it's then React's job to figure out which elements on the actual web page might need to be added or removed or updated. And you don't write these concrete DOM updating instructions on your own as you would be doing it with just JavaScript. Instead with React and React components, you just define these end states and under which conditions, which state should be used. And then React will do all of the rest under the hood. It's a bit like magic. It's of course not actual magic, but it will make your life as a developer much easier. So you could say that in the end, we just build our own custom HTML elements and we combine them together for building a user interface. But that's enough of the theory for now. Let's now finally dive into some code and start building these components.